same for human beings and animals. Four things. Ahara, Nidra, Bhayam, Maithuna. These are the four. Ahara, Nidra, Bhayam, Maithunam, Samanya Medat, Pashuhi, Nara. Pashu and Nara. Beautiful word Pashu. Pashu means what? Pashyadidi Pashu. One who only sees but never learns. Nara, the human being, if they see, they experience and do not learn, they are also Pasu. That is why Pasu Vali. Pasu Vali means what? Sacrificing the animal. In a ritual, they sacrifice the animal. What the human beings do? Human beings do the ritual, but they sacrifice the animal. Which animal? Edible animal. Did the scripture say that? Oh yes, scripture said Pasu Vali. You are a Pasu if you see and you never learn from what you see. You are a Pasu if you hear, taste, touch, everything, but you do not learn from what you see, what you hear, what you touch, what you taste. Ignorance. So Pasu Vali means sacrificing the Pasu, the ignorance in you. But we don't understand that. And Shankara gives that example. And there are five things he gives. Five animals. Each one loses himself in one sense organ and is destroyed. Kuranga, Matanga, Patanga, Meena, Vrunga. Kuranga means the deer. The deer has a weakness for sound. It has a weakness for the sound. The hunter goes to the forest and plays the flute. Attracted by the sound of the flute, the deer will come. He is the deer with the arrow. The deer is wounded, killed. Just suppose the deer is wounded, you take away the arrow, cure him and send him back. After two days, again you play the thing, again he will come back. Because he doesn't know <laughs> that this is the Flute is the Vyadagitika, the son of the hunter. The animal will never learn. Elephant has a weakness for touch. Then the elephant, the rogue, the bull is on the rut. The changes female elephant. That is the time Kheda, they do that elephant catching. They took a big hole, put some ordinary branches. The, this, this fellow is totally mindless. Whew, runs. Boom. He'll fall on that. Keeps them for there for days together, fasting, you know, destroying, you know, sort of completely taking away its resistance. And that is how they are caught. Religion, again, will be the same thing. Patanga, the insect, what you do in the Diwali time, no? You put all these diya, diya matlab, uh, lamps. Why they put? Because after the rainy season, lot of these insects are created, born. So when you put them fire, they will get attracted and they will burn themselves. So it's like a control, environment control. You release one you know, insect and put it he again come back and burn himself. It will not learn. Until it burns, it will not learn. And once it burnt, he is not there to learn. Meena, the fish, the fish. The fish has a weakness for the tongue. You put the bait, <coughs> bites, comes back. Release it. Say, you will do it again. It won't burn. Because it is eating all the time. And the brunga, the honeybee, he goes into the lotus, enjoys, collects the honey and gets lost in the fragrance and stays there. Evening, sun sets, the flowers close, dead inside. You can see in our lotus here, small, small bees are there, dead bees are there. Many times you can see. 
Shankara says beautiful. Each animal, understand, each animal conscious. One sense organ dominant, dead because of that. Human being self-conscious, therefore it wants to see, wants to hear, wants to touch, wants to taste, wants to smell. Imagine what will happen and never learns from the experiences. That is why in the human world there is maximum suffering. You understand why you suffer? God wants you to suffer. So what do you say? Don't see, don't hear, don't touch, don't taste, don't smell. That is the religious injunction. Moral science. Don't see this. Don't see, don't touch, don't taste, don't smell. Monkey. The three monkeys, no? Close your eyes. Close your ears. In my room there are three monkeys. Toys. One was looking through the binocular. Another was listening both ears. Other fellow was talking through the microphone. Eh? So which monkey you want to be? Gandhi's monkey or my monkey? Ideally, what people will say? Gandhi's monkey. Why? See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. Today, our generation is all Gandhi's monkey. Everybody is so much lost in that WhatsApp and the cell phone. See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil, because he is lost there. Ideal monkey, no? Every fellow has become a monkey now. Have you seen in a bus, you go in the bus, go in the car, anywhere, you just look at it. For a change, please do that. For a change, because you are also, each one is a monkey, no? So, as you walk down and see, car driver is not looking at it, but the man who is passenger is looking at it. Bus, passengers looking at it. Nobody looks at this side, that side, that is gone. Even when you are at home, no more talking to the father or the mother or the husband or the wife or the child, each one with his own phone. How beautiful. Think about that. Animals will never learn. They go on. As human beings, what will happen? If you first see and do not learn, touch and do not learn, taste and do not learn, and you go crazy, that is the pursuit. Must be belly sacrificed. Ignorance to be sacrificed at the altar of knowledge, consciousness, that is the altar.